Hey guys, welcome back to Dante's Jurassic Reviews, and I'm here to review the Premium Fitness Studio Series 38 and Studio Series 02 in this subline Premium Finish Optimus Prime from the Bumblebee movie. And first, uh, sorry I haven't posted a video that I remember. I, I did post the uh, Core Class Grandma Custom, which I should have brought down for a comparison, but. I'll show you. Well, there's a video about it. But before we get to the figure, let's get onto the packaging. And here's the packaging. It is in a nice giant Autobot logo right there. Transformers Premium Fist Studio Series, I guess. O2. Authentic Takara told me product as sold in Japan. Hasbro. Ages Plus, which I love. Right there, Transformers Premium Fitness SS02. Same thing in the back. Same thing on the top, bottom, same thing, no barcode, which I didn't know that. And you open it right here, like in their Masterpiece 02 sublane. You get the actual box right here. And let me just take it out. And here is the actual box. You can see Optimus Prime. Right there, Studio Series. You can see him in a nice promo pic. Optimus Prime, right there, all about logo. Nice, like classic retro design with the background, but instead of red, like the original, it's blue. Optimus Transformers, right there, it's a Tara Tomy Premium Finish. Optimus with his Iron Cannon, Premium Finish, Optimus Prime. Optimus doing that classic pose, that same picture in the front, words that I cannot read. The Bone Be Moving right there. You see Optimus Prime annihilating Starscream. Right there, bottom right there. If you get the reference, Sad Pac-Man. Right there, Premium Finish, Studio Series, Optimus Prime. So this is the packaging right here, amazing packaging. And let's get on right into the figure of Optimus Prime. Oops. Right here. This was a figure I really wanted because I never got to Series 38 Prime. I saw him at Target like a day before my birthday. Went back there, gone, and never saw him after that again. That was in 2019. But now they re released him back in 2021 for the premium finish line with a more accurate movie paint job which are way 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 better than the original figure the original paint job wasn't that great but still an amazing figure right here i did get this figure for my birthday from my dad right here because of the hypeness for transformers Rise of the beast which i'm super excited to come up can't believe it comes on next week all right let me just take a closer look at the details right there, you can see a nicely beautiful sculpted Optimus Prime head right there, him and his battle mask, let's see if I get the light in there, nice bright blue eyes for the, bright blue for the eyes, some gunmetal in the corners of his battle mask, the vents on the head right there, the crest is, I believe that's what it's called, I don't know, his ears right there, beautifully painted, right there, focus, some gunmetal right there, Nicely detailed all around. I think you can see the back is also very nicely detailed with a nice gunmetal paint. Right there, that's very accurate to the actual movie. Some more details right there. You can see his classic window pecs right there with the wind uh, up there, the windshield, and the wind wipers right there. Nice like riveted detail right there. You can see his like abs right there, all that detail nicely painted with a nice red for some of the highlights because the studio series figure did not or the original one they didn't paint that stuff it was more just on paint it and you can see they actually dry brush some brown I'm brown I'm looking at Freddy's hair right there sorry uh it's painted in a nice uh silver like dry brush same right there with the area right here is crotch area nicely painted silver with some faded black or gray i can't really tell it looks more like a dark it is yeah, it's a very dark like darkish gray nice gold paint with the black stripes for that area or the silver right there you can see definitely that fading like war torn right there nice some like wire stuff right there 
His hands are painted blue, which I really like because in the original figure they were not. They were uh, like in um, dark gray, I believe. Right there, nicely painted. Right there, gun metal right there. The yellow stripe, like in the classic uh, G1 cartoon right there. Again, that dry brush in the of silver, gun metal. The Autobot logo right there. With the white stripe right here. Wish those parts were like a silver. The smokestacks right there. Down to the legs right here. Nicely painted in gun metal right there in the middle part. Cast it in blue, which I really do love. I did paint this part right here, like where the hell the backlights are. Which in the original figure they were painted by here than that. I painted them myself, which I think looks way better, plus also accurate to Rise of the Beast. Right there. See some nice gun metal paint right there. I love and his tires are here. I always love that bottom is probably about his back tires on his legs. More gun metal paint at the back right here. Nicely sculpted details. Again, those really beautiful tires. I don't know why, but this always satisfies me when I do this. There again, more like more nicely sculpted details right there. The gas tanks right there. You can see some kibble from the truck right there. Again, a really nicely done figure. Probably the best Studio Series Prime out there until the Studio Series Rise of the Beast Optimus Prime came out, and this one kind of looks outdated. But still, a really amazing Optimus Prime. I still don't have the Studio Series Bayverse one, which I still do want, but I think I like this more. I like this design more, even though I'm a Bayverse, Bayverse fan because I grew up with those movies, but I also grew up with the G1. I love both designs, anyways. I love the Western Star truck too. His Peter Bill. I love those trucks for him. Right there again, just beautifully detailed and an amazing Optimus Prime. For accessories, he does come with his Ion Cannon right here. Again, sculpted very, very nicely right there. You can see the mag right there. The classic detail on the iron cannon to two pegs to store on his back the peg for the handle painted in the gun metal gray I accidentally chipped some paint while stored it on the back right there you can hold it on his hand right there and now he could go into the battlefield to fight some Decepticons or if you don't want it you can store it right here by these two pegs right here store like that if he doesn't if you don't want his gun to be in his hands right there in time for some size comparisons here he is with studio series b127 buzzworthy bumblebee right there making size comparison if you want to recreate that scene in the beginning of the movie where bumblebee comes in right there amazing size comparison here he is with Studio Series, Dropkick, and Shatter right there. Even though these two are never on screen together. Well, actually, kind of in that scene where he was getting ambushed right there. Nicely scaled, I guess. Here he is with a previous custom. Here he is with Galvatron because they're both flat nose trucks right there. Around the same height. Even though it looks like Galatron might be a bit taller, right there. Like a bit because of those horns right here. Still, these two size up really nicely. Here he is with the only Optimus Prime I had at the time. Core Class Optimus, right here. If you can stand, right there. From the Kingdom line. Here he is with. Oh, yeah, let me get him right here. Here he is with Studio Series 86 Grimlock. And I love having these two display right next to each other. You can see how much it towers over Optimus right there. Really nicely uh, size comparison right there. Here he is with the last night Voyager Megatron right there. And I do love how he's bigger or taller than Megatron, I mean Optimus. 
I right, think I always prefer Megatron being taller than Optimus. And here he is with Studio Series. Sound wave right there. Again, nicely scaled right there. They're like around the same height, which I will be doing a review on him soon. And no, that doesn't go with him. That's Baver's Studio Series sound wave, which I prefer him having it because I'm not a fan of the Baver sound wave too much. This is a way better design in my opinion. And that's all for the size comparisons. But before we get into the transformation, I did tease in my Grimlock video where I did make some custom weapons for him besides me making uh besides him coming with the iron cannon the iron cannon or iron blaster, whatever you call it. I did show I made some custom Energon blades from Rise of the Beast that peg on him right here to make it look like they come out of his like, hand area. Here they are, right there. Then I did make these in January 1st when I got this. Right there. To make it look more accurate to the Rise of the Beast one. But I did make some new ones which I just finished like a couple of days ago I believe. I did make some other ones that are a bit smaller because I think I made these too big for him. Right there. These are the new ones, these are the old ones I did. Right there. Put those away. Take the other gun. Right, let's put it right there. Oops. And here he is with the new swords right there, which I think are more close to the size of them in the trailer because they're not as big. But I did also make two of them. Like I have, I can have him in that scene in the first trailer where he's running alongside Cheetor and Primal, right there with them. So I can have him pose with his swords, right there. Which I really love how they turned out, right there. And I don't. I didn't find a way to how to store them. The only one I could think of is storing them like right here. Like that. But they don't really stay on for too long. Besides that, if you want to have to if you want him having the hand cannon like he has in Rise of the Beast, the closest one I could think of is using drop kicks gun right here and I just use some like clay or sticky sticky tack whatever and right there you can make him having the hand cannon he has in Rise of the Beast because it does look very similar to it so how he could tell you to stand down right there which still looks good in my opinion right there sadly I don't have an Optimus Primal yet but hoping to get one soon right there so that's all the stuff I have for like weapons for him. Well, if you did see some TV spots, he has his axe, his energy axe, which I'm very, very excited he had. I, I just used the Combined Wars one. Right there. Just for the axe. But still, it's a good and time for articulation. Right here, his head is on a ball joint here, so you can do a full three. 60 to how wiggly waggly he could look up that far down that far if he used the hand she could look way more down i did mod the articulation ahead because you can see he's like a cylinder half of a cylinder sculpted right there and it didn't make him look up it only made him look up like that much i did pop off the head of the ball joint and i did get a a blade and trim off the plastic so now he could look up way more than than he actually did. Arms could go up above that far. Larry could do a full 360 right there. And they do have this hinge to get it out of the way. And I do love how it's sculpted right here with the mushroom pig that it looks like mechanical details moving right there, which I really do love. He does have a bicep or whatever it's called, rotation right there. He does have a waist, a wrist swivel right there. You can also use this swivel for transformation to make it to look at that scene in the movie movie where he was showing planet Earth through this thing 
to Bumblebee, he does have a waist rotation right there. But things do get in the way of it sometimes. But he can do full waist wiggle. His legs oops, go up about that far, back, not that really much. He does have a thigh rotation. His knees goes up, I mean, more than 90 degrees right there. His feet do have a tilt right there that go by that much, and the hinge you can make him go down a bit up if you wanted to. That's all, all of the articulation he has. Very articulated right there. I do love to pose his figure a lot. And for like transformation, you can make it look like he opened his windows to show the matrix, but he doesn't really have a matrix there. But let's get into right into the transformation. And let's get onto the transformation right now. I do love his transformation. So first I always do him in a T pose right there. Then you have to swivel the arm right here. That much. And you rotate this arm. Same thing with the other side. But this side's a bit more tighter than the other side. So to get it into right there. And now to unplug his chest. Right there. Flip this hinge now. Untab his back right here. Yeah, take these out a bit to get everything all out to, from this hinge right here. But not the legs, but the hinge right here. Let's take it all out and put the head down and rotate everything right here. Get everything straight because if not, it gets frustrating a bit times. And to take everything, to put the windows out, flip this little hinges out. Here, put the arms in like in traditional G1 Optimus. Right here, flip these little hinges down and put this panel up and tab it into these little tabs right here. Right there, and then this port right here will go into this like screw hole part and just tab it in right there with this little tab right there same thing on the other arm sometimes the hands will push out the windows there just tab it right there and then do the same thing and then there are these two tabs that go in these slots right here to make the grill and the bumper of the truck and now for the legs right here to untab these things right here which I know people do complain that they're not as stable as connections for me they're fine for me because they actually actually like lock in except for if you just move his feet they untab but usually they lock in for me and then remove these right here have him into this right here. Right there. Get the feet, get them straight, turn them, and then tab them into this tab right here. Right there. Same thing on the other, oops, other leg. So, there. And now you have to unhinge the trailer hitch right here and tab these right here. And then you tab this right here. There. And there are these tabs right here that go in these slots right here. And these pegs that go into these right here. And there you have Optimus Prime in his amazing truck mode right here and this is an amazing truck of Optimus Prime for the studio series line the uh, Peterbilt Babers Optimus Prime were not that great in my opinion the smokestacks were too short and he wasn't 
in scale as much with this one. Oh, he's a nice beefy blocky truck, which I really do. I, I'm a fan of this truck. I love these kind of trucks. It just took me a whole lot of time to see these in person, actually, because of my whole life as a kid, I've never seen a cab or flat nose truck until my birthday. If you don't know, my birthday was in May 12th, which is already passed, which I wasn't going to do in the video, but nah. But I, when we were driving to my sister's house, there was a traffic pile, not pile up, whatever, like a traffic jam, whatever. And we were seeing that they were hauling a heavy load because there was a bunch of like officers around the trucks saying heavy loads. And they're all three flat nose trucks, but they were like white and gray, basically like Baver's Galvatron. But they were carrying the propellers on those windmill things that we have here. And it was my first time ever seeing a flat nose truck, like Galvatron. But the first time I ever saw a flat nose truck was also around my birthday, like before my birthday. It was this exact same truck, but it had like something up here. I don't know, I forgot what they're called, but like, like this. And it was blue, so it reminded me of Ultra Magnus, but still first time seeing a flat nose truck in person. You can see where the window pegs are right there. The rivets, the nicely done grill, nicely done silver with the white stripe. Headlights right there. There are the smokestacks. I never liked how they're in the middle, I was still on the side instead, but say. Good thing the Rise of the Beast one fixes that. The windshield right there, the door, the handle right there, the rivets, that white stripe, which I prefer. The white because it was his silver in the original figure, which I didn't like because it blended too much with the grill. But you can see the tires right there are pinned nicely detailed right there. You can see. Sorry, I accidentally pressed stop on the recording, but get onto the detail, you can see the nice four wheels. I wish they were the eight wheels right here in the back with like one two three four five six seven eight i wish there were those ones right there instead of these giant flat ones right here but i still do like it right there you see the trailer the trailer hitch right here again i just can't stop rolling these the under kills it does not look like it could transform it doesn't look like it looks like a normal truck right here same thing right here with the cable with the cable or whatever the cab rack which i really do like here and we're just putting it straight out and I do love how the bed of the truck actually looks like a truck it doesn't have like the feet I like the Bavers one and it, it like from like far away it looks like a model truck of Optimus Prime without the like, panel lines whatever but it really is very accurate it should be like more like like cables or, like not cables like bars right here and the trailer hitch should really be between right here it's still a very very accurate semi truck right here i love this vehicle mode so much i love his transformation too time for some size comparisons which is not that much but here he is with galvatron right there which are both my nose trucks right there and that's the only size comparison i have because i didn't feel like transforming the rest of them but here he is with mommy there and here he is with core class prime right there and that's my review of studio series premium finish optimus prime and an amazing optimus prime figure like back in 2021 the earthrise one was the one i really wanted like i still want it kind of i really wanted the optimus so I got this Optimus for Christmas, and I, def I feel like I don't need any new Optimus except for the Rise of the Beast one because that one looks kind of that one looks really amazing. But still, an amazing, amazing Optimus. And just also uh, found out that this guy goes for a lot on eBay, which I got well, I got from my dad, but he paid half the price. Well, actually, way cheaper than I have it on eBay, so. I think wait for a deal to get this dude because this dude goes for like hundreds now on eBay. Well, my dad got this for 50 bucks on Big Bad Toy Store, which is an amazing store. But still an amazing figure, hoping to get the Rise of the Beast one because that one looks really amazing. Plus it comes with the sword, which I made the sword for nothing, but still. And this, this could go with this Optimus. But still an amazing figure. I will be posting another review 
of a certain character from a movie that come in, that's coming out. But this is my review of the Transformer Studio series Optimus Prime. And if you want to see more videos like this, please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.